Yes, ladies and gentlemen, today we are back again and guess what? I decided to bring for you Mr. Bright in the studio. Because most of guys were like uh, Bright has a lot of issues and things and a lot of knowledge according to the comment that we got. And we decided uh, today it's not bad uh, when we bring him back again here so that we can discuss on issues that are coming out uh, uh, for the complaints that we receive or the complaints that many guys or many people who have traveled to Gulf countries they are complaining on their embassy and this is uh, i'll go direct to my country kenya most of the people are really complaining that embassy does not help them and that's why i decided to ask mr Bright. mr Bright, welcome back to the show bro thank you man well long time is it long time one yeah, week it's been a while it's been <laughs> <laughs> and uh, these guys uh, told me that uh, i come and ask you this question because they expect bright things from you <laughs> as your name anyway thank and you for inviting me back yeah and uh, they want to know why or uh, what do you think this is happening because uh, most of guys are complaining on the embassies that they are not helping yeah i think even i saw one comment that uh, somebody saying that uh, why are governments not helping us when we have travel out and we're making money and sending it and they are especially charging us all sorts of things especially yeah uh, but I'm happy that you've brought it down to the embassy. No, no. The embassies are the representatives of the governments in whatever country you find yourself. Mm. But like I did ask you a question the last time. When you arrive in a country, have you gone to the have embassy? Have you been able to identify yourself or go identify where your embassy is? And did you go and introduce yourself? ask them or give them information about yourself and what you're here to do did you do that the very first week when you got there first month most of us we didn't there? most of us we didn't do that no so. you yeah. only went there when you had any problem exactly first of all disclaimer mm. i am not working in an embassy i don't represent any particular embassy but i think you have some but tips maybe yes exactly. but for me having been someone who loved to travel yeah. or having also studied some of these foreign affairs mm. The first thing you need to do when you travel outside is to look for where your embassy is. Right. Go there, introduce yourself, give them information about yourself, and take information from them. So when you travel to Qatar, did you do that at the first time? For yourself now? When I got here, there was no embassy. That time? Nothing. Oh. We only can get any access to our government no. through Saudi Arabia. If you have any issue, you have to send it to Saudi Sorry. Arabia. Oh, yeah. But thankfully, now we have an, an embassy, embassy here. Ghana, exactly. Oh. And, and we have an ambassador here. They are doing an amazing job. But they still need some amount of improvements. We understand. I get it up. I get yeah. your point. Yeah. So I will come up uh, with a special comment uh, from uh, there's a guy there from Qatar. I don't remember his name, but uh, he was asking like uh, for him. He went to embassy looking for passport. Uh, he wanted to take a passport. He wanted to renew his passport in Qatar. But uh, the, uh, the embassy was not supportive to this guy. And he had to stay more than days that he expected to get that passport. That's why we are here back again saying that uh, it's like embassy is not helping their own people. Is some it? of the embassies are not really doing a good job. But some are also trying. Some, not some, all. Some, not all. Actually, I think that every embassy um, ambassador sent to us or sent to a country, his, he has become the representative of the government. Right. And the truth is, some of these embassies give bad names or reputation to their governments they are representing. Right. Which is not really, you know, mm, what is supposed to be exactly. Yeah. However, some are also doing great job. Sure. But we not knowing the procedure they go through kind of gives us those agitations. We don't have the patience because we don't know what they are doing. We don't know the processes. We only go there, pay money, run out. When we get there, we are, hurry, we are in a hurry. We, oh, I want to get this thing fast. But do you know, I still have to go to work. And so you put things down. Some of the informations are not even complete, but they cannot even chase you. They can't even get you. Even when they call you, they can't get you. Right. I have a lot of friends who are working in some of these embassies. In my own embassy, I mean, I talked to some of their consulates. I mean, I talked to some of the people working in the embassy, and they said, look, if you guys know what we have to go through to be able to get you some of the documentations you're looking for, not only that, but some of the fights they have to fight 
that know, they don't have to tell you exactly. but they fight or, or some of their issues that they are dealing with day to day because of some of the behaviors of some of we mm -hmm. their citizens in those countries you'll be amazed but because you went for a passport and you have to wait for some time and you didn't get it immediately you take that as, as just a, the work not, of, uh, but that is that is only a microcosm mm -hmm. of what okay. the embassy is here to so, do. So, Bright, uh, if we, I ask you again here now, what are we supposed to do? You'll answer me that uh, someone has to go and register himself or herself the first time that he comes here. But now it has already happened. Someone is working here, and uh, she or he didn't go there at the first time, so he's already here. The kind of person, what is he supposed to do now, so, so that he can get? easily or quickly head from the embassy first of all again i'm going to say i am not working in the embassy yeah, but according no to your embassy, little knowledge according, that you have exactly. according to it. what we are supposed to be doing is to be checking on our embassy sites and see what are change what are the new changes that have been implemented right. what am i supposed to carry when i'm going for a passport um what are some of the documentations that i need if I want to renew, how much is it costing? These informations are online, sure. but we don't. We run there. Some of us even forget the old passport that we are supposed to be renewing exactly. at home. Sure, true. We don't have yeah. any copies of any documentation. We just get there the very first time. And now they are asking you things and you are just looking at them like they are from mass. And then, because you did not get the, the, the response that you needed at that time, because they also need some information from you, you sure. run and come out and say, I went there, they are useless, they couldn't get me anything. But exactly. you did not tell exactly what really oh, yeah. happened. True. We need documentations mm. to be able to get, look, here in Qatar, if you are going to renew your... Uh, My passport? Your, no, 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 your I, ID, uh, no. your QID. Sure. You need to go through procedures. Fact. And it takes some time. Exactly. So yeah. you cannot blame the system when you yourself you did not do your own research. Fact. fact. My, my 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 wife recently told me he said I want to renew my passport and I waited till the passport was almost you know done. Then I mean it it was gone. I I didn't even remember. Anyway, when I <laughs> when I was running to the passport office, I mean the embassy, mm. she told me. So if you get there today, and the embassy is closed. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? So once in a while, take your documentations, go through. Mm -hmm. Don't wait until everything is just done, done so completely. Now, and then now you go running there. What about the, go to the suffering area now? A lady is working inside the house. She's getting suffering. And she wants uh, immediately help to. No, we are not talking about Qatar. We are talking uh, like uh, Gulf countries. People are working inside the houses. Here. Housemaid, less peasant housemaid. Okay, so we have people who are working who are domestic workers. Domestic they workers, are working exactly. in the homes of sure. these, uh, they are karamas or whatever you call sure. them, and they are going through hard times. Exactly. And they need help. Immediately help, maybe, because it's really, some more it's emergence to them. Exactly. So you see where it is important for us to be able to go to the embassy when we arrive in the country yeah, sure. because you will have a contact person but now it has already happened it's fine it has already happened it's fine yeah. all you need to do is just check the website see if you can get any contact no. for the embassy remember if you're working in the domestic if you are a domestic worker there is no way you're going to be running out of the house and going to the embassy exactly so sure. you need a kind of contact which they do have some contact on the website, the website yeah. take that contact if there is whatsapp that will be your good friend sure if there are no whatsapp and you have a phone number you can call it do if even you cannot get that they have emails you can no. send something this is the problem i'm going through i am in house number so and so street number this this okay. is my contact information sure. you send it now they may not probably get to you immediately but you can do a follow-ups you see some of uh, some of these informations you can send it quietly without creating any problem if you send an email no one is going to notice that but if you're on a phone call and they catch you you could be in trouble exactly but true. if you send the email it's a trap that's it guys for today and please make sure that we subscribe like and share